There is a potential for falling trees, even bluff collapses, as we've seen in past storms here. CBS 8's Chris Grove live in Del Mar now with more on what one local geologist is telling us here this morning. Chris? Yeah, good morning, guys. Some of those images uh, just north of us after Hillary or even during Hillary of the roads crumbling, the ground collapsing. Again, geologists nervous and also aware, trying to be proactive about whether or not that might happen here in some of our active areas, if you will. Of course, we know the bluffs along Del Mar, really the bluffs along any of our coastline, always subject to collapses, especially after rain. The thing is, we normally get that type of rain event during the winter months. Of course, Hillary brought a ton of rain to our area. Now, according to geologist Pat Abbott, it could have been very much worse. Had that storm not moved as quickly as it did, had it stayed over us a little longer, we could have gotten potentially so much more rain. And with that, a very much increased chance there of some of the collapses that we have seen in other parts of Southern California. However, that does not mean that we are out of the woods yet. In fact, they are going to keep being aware of what could happen both along our coast, but also in some of the different areas in San Diego County as well, too. We can see some where the debris has come all the way out onto the beach. We can see some where high tides have nibbled away at it and left a steep little cliff within the recent slide material. So we can see the relative ages of slide after slide after slide. And of course, whenever you're visiting the beach, you always want to just keep your head on a swivel. Don't ever try to put your things directly underneath a bluff. That's why lifeguards will come through. They'll tell you, hey, this is not really a good spot to be. Try to make sure that you're removed a little bit away from that, especially in the days leading up after a storm. Eric Anetta.